the request was around $3 billion. The NSCC was reasonable subsequent to this. They worked with us to actually lower it. I actually was asleep at this point. The operations team was fielding this at three o'clock. And then we put our heads together. Our chief operating officer said, look, let's call up the higher ups at the NSCC and figure out what's going on. Maybe there's some way we can work with them. And basically there was another call and they lowered it to something like $1.4 billion from three. We were making some progress, but it's still a high number. And then we proposed, well, let's explain how we plan to, let's explain how, you know, we'll manage risk in these symbols throughout the day. We proposed marking these volatile stocks that were driving the activity position closing only. Then at about an hour before market open, 5.30 or 5 in the morning, they came back and they said, okay, the deposit's 700 million, which we then deposited and paid promptly. And then everything was fine. I really can't comment on Robinhood's decision. Only Robinhood can do that. I'd be speculating and really would not be appropriate. What we know is uh, there was a large margin charge that uh, they were subject to. Uh, the premium com component was waived. They met their requirement and remained a member in good standing. What happened next? The decision to restrict trading really was internal to Robinhood. We did not have discussions about that. The U.S. House Committee on Financial Services report, pages 61 through 62, at approximately 8.15 a.m. ESD senior personnel from DTCC, Robinhood Securities, and Robinhood Markets spoke about the deposit requirements. According to DTCC officials, Robinhood Securities personnel explained the mitigation efforts that were being taken in response to the unanticipated spike in collateral requirements during this call, specifically conveying that Robinhood had increased margin requirements for its clients to 100% on GME and certain other volatile equities and had decided to impose PCO restrictions on certain volatile symbols.